The man in the spotlight, Avigdor Lieberman, is a political bruiser, shrugging off corruption allegations and those who call him an anti-Arab extremist. But he believes Palestinians living in Israel should swear loyalty to a Jewish state or be stripped of citizenship. His party could soon be in government. The settlers support him, but Mr. Lieberman, from the former Soviet Union, has his base in the so-called Russian vote. A Jerusalem bar, a good place to get the views of typical blue-collar Russian voters. They like strong leadership, just like they had back home, and they're suspicious of compromise with the Palestinians. I think that we need a strong man like Putin, who would take the country into his hands. He would turn to the whole world and say, I'm going to do what I want, and the world would have to accept that. Russian Israelis have other concerns. Socially, they're often liberal. Many are Christian or secular and want Israel to allow civil marriages. Some struggle economically, trying to get on in Israel whilst keeping a distinct identity. At the right-wing Likud party, leader Benjamin Netanyahu is meeting a delegation of Russian Israelis, trying to convince them to vote for him. Mr. Netanyahu is telling these Russian immigrants that if he's elected, he'll look after their pensions, he'll look after their housing. The Russian-Israeli vote is so crucial, so all the party leaders are doing their best to win it over. This orchestra is an example of the success of some immigrants from the former Soviet Union. Three quarters of the musicians come from Russia and surrounding countries like Eddie Resnick, who's thrived in Israel, but now feels less secure. I used to vote for left-wing parties, and I thought that when Israel finished its occupation of Gaza, the peace process would start. But when Israel pulled out, the attacks carried on. I realized it's not so simple. Now I really have to think hard who to vote for. The beautiful harmonies are deceptive. It seems that even Russian Israelis who believed in peace are now disillusioned. And the hardline Mr. Lieberman might emerge stronger. The consequences of that could be felt across this troubled region. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.